Welcome back, guys. We're on top of St. Augustine University here with Ready Roofing and Atlas. Yes. We're at the tear-off stage. Yeah, what a job. These guys already got a few buildings complete. This is great. Yeah. Now, Stan, you come out as a manufacturer and, and uh, occasionally work with the sales associates, the owners, and even the subcontractors to make sure your manufacturer's spec yep. is being adhered to so you can live up to your warranty. Absolutely. Got to get out here and make sure that the stuff we're coming up with in the lab is actually working for the guys in the field. So, so guys, let's talk about that tear-off phase real quick. Yep. Uh, we obviously are stripping it down to the decking. Um, is there anything special that stands out we need to do? We're in North Carolina. We're not in Florida. So we don't no. need to re-nail the deck. You know, basically we're looking for consistency. We're not, look, you know, if there's any spots that need to be corrected, we're going to go ahead and correct those as we're we see. tamping down nails. Yeah. Uh, we're cleaning all the debris off. You had existing nice water shield in the valleys, didn't no, you? No, no. Actually, uh, code here is not. Um, but, you know, we go ahead and for manufacturer reasons, you know, to uphold Atlas's warranty, uh, we go ahead and add that. When, when we come back. Do you get a better warranty with the ice and water Absolutely. shield in the valleys? Absolutely, yeah. You know, it's a, you get a system warranty when you're using all our stuff, and we view ice and water, particularly in valleys, particularly Natural water collection area. point, yeah. makes sense. Mm -hmm. Anywhere where you're going to have a potential area. Well, roof-to-wall transitions on yep. a slope. Yep. Yep. Roof-to-wall transitions, and then obviously penetrations. Right. Anywhere there's a penetration, really important to seal that up properly. So. Now, I'm assuming your guys are checking for rotten decking, which is oftentimes an issue. Yep. Sometimes it's not rotten, sometimes it's just swelling. Right. Sometimes, you know, it's taken water over the years and it just, you know, doesn't look very good. Or it's out of code. Yep, right. it's out of code. Sometimes we like it when it's out of code if they have yeah. code coverage. That's right. Code upgrade. That's I used right. to get a couple of those back in the day on the older homes. Mm -hmm. Spacing's out of code and all kinds of stuff. Well, here's a great example of some rotten decking. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. So what are we doing to repair this once we get down to this section? Whole uh, sheet or partial or? You know, honestly, we're, we're gonna find each uh, each joy, each rafter, and um, we're gonna go cut up to the next one uh, and butt it up and just and, and, and patch as necessary, really. Yeah. And this is common around vent penetrations? Uh, extremely common. You know, that's the, the number one place, I, in my opinion, water gets in is through the pipe boots. Um, you got guys pounding nails through flashing. Well, you don't have ice and water shield. Honestly, it's the mastic seal. It's it's the cheap mastic seal that just degrades over time. So From that the black UV, right? the UV yeah. that? Yeah. that black sealant only lasts for four or five years, and then beyond that, if it's not serviced and maintenance properly, which most buildings aren't, yeah. you know, you end up with this situation happening. You know, water getting in. That's that misnomer about a maintenance-free roof. You gotta have somebody you, up checking. You gotta have people. Yeah. Prevents bigger issues down the road. Then exactly. you guys go back with that ice and water shield and all the and penetrations. all penetrations. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's going to prevent a lot of this stuff from happening in the future. Anything else, guys, in terms of the actual tear-off process affecting warranty, things to look out for? Honestly, just, just making sure we're consistent, right? Nothing's sticking up, nothing's going to, you know, affect or penetrate the shingle that's going back on. You know, making sure the underlayment gets secured properly with button caps. Right. You know, just, just consistency. Now, I know a lot, of different, a, lot of, a lot of roofing manufacturers have changed their warranties over the years, Stan. What if somebody does do a layover? Let's say they do a layover. Can you still get a limited warranty of some yeah, kind? Yeah, there's still a limited warranty with a limited scope on uh, one layer tear or one layer roof over. Excuse me, on a three tab. Obviously, we want to make sure that the deck is. And, w and why a three tab, not an architectural? You know, if you put an architectural over an architectural, you're going to get. A I knew that of answer. Layover, I just right? wanted to see your expression. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's <laughs> that's a. It's going to look a little funny. I was be like, dude, <laughs> you messed up my whole property. You're like, mm, oh, looks yeah. like the Atlantic Ocean out there. Yeah. So. Well, I was saying, but situation in the past where we tore off like a three layer house is old as shit oh, yeah. right it's, it's probably been settled there's foundation issues they didn't notice them there's been a nice cushy three layer on there for yeah. the last 20 years right. tear it off you put one layer on all of a sudden every little yeah. divot every little change in the house and literally they didn't want to pay us because they thought we caused the problem right right you ever run into those issues um our policy is always full tear off uh no matter what you know because at the end of the day, we want to start with a, a good nailing surface, yeah. but um, you know, and that's kind of a standard we've set up in our company. We just we just don't want to cut corners. We we started introducing a pre-start checklist yeah. for uneven rafters and bow decking. Yeah. So when we picked up the check. They were kind of aware of it and said, "Look, we're not responsible for any ripples, uneven de uneven rafters or bow deck that you might notice, especially after a multiple uh, layer yeah, tear off an old roof." Closing that is incredible. Yeah. Tearing off all the way to the deck is always the best way to go because you're going to get a much better view of what's really happening with the deck. You can do an interior inspection and get an okay idea, but you know, seeing the deck for yourself is always going to be the best yep. bet for the owner. I notice here they must have had existing ridge vent because we got the ridge vent yep. open areas. Yep. So we're going back to ridge vent. Yep. Soffit system. Yep. Nice. 
And ventilation is key and bringing things up to ventilation standards is also key because that's one of the biggest areas that causes future wood rot yep. and the deck is having uh, improperly ventilated uh, uh, roof, roofing system. Yep. All right guys, in our next chapter, we're gonna check out that underlayment, start installing the shingles, Do it. and making sure we're living up to that manufacturer's spec. You got it. See you soon. I just wanted to shoot this quick film. Uh, as you can see, the shingles are coming off, but the underlayment is still there. Uh, a, lot of the, a lot of times the insurance companies are gonna say that underlayment comes off at the same time as the roofing system, and it does not. It's a separate layer. It actually is adhered so that's what we're dealing with right here. This is just further proof. This is how roofing in the real world happens.